Before this video begins, press like and hit that subscribe button. Okay, cool. Here's all the people that found the secret comment word in the last video. G'day guys, my name's Wadzi. Welcome back to episode 8 of Minecraft. I hope you're having an awesome day today. Um, I'm just keen to just jump into it. Today I'm not going to be going down the enchanting or caving or exploring route. I'm actually going to be building something pretty cool. And just as a hint for what we're doing, we're going to need a few of these probably. That might be a bit too many, but... Okay, and another hint for what we're doing is... Hang on, these suckers. Jeez, yes. We're going to be making a wool farm, but not just like a pen with a bunch of sheep in it like we have here. Oh my god, I can't even hear myself, it's so loud here. We're going to be making a coloured wool farm, so we have a ton of colourful blocks. Let me run away from here, it's way too loud. And I think I'm going to be doing it over here somewhere. First we need to be, we need a nice flat area so we can build. Let's start digging at this area here. So the idea is we will have, I think it's 16 holes. I don't know how many colors there are, but there'll be four by four holes, I think. Is it usually three by, no, I think it's four by fours I usually do. So like, to give you an example, so you can see the vision, this will be red, this will be like orange or something, green, you know, all the different colors we can get. So I'm gonna plan this out, dig all the holes I need, and yeah, I'll be back with something exciting to share or something. All right, so here we are in creative. Let's just look up wool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Perfect, okay, I did remember correctly. So, yeah, I think that's how we're gonna load out. That looks pretty cool. I don't know why it's this important, but we know we have 16 colors and yeah, we gotta sort that out, so. Okay, so of course, if we wanna farm sheeps in these little pits we need some grass down there because if a sheep can't eat grass it won't regrow its wool knowledge i'm just waiting for some grass to spread down and it looks like it's mostly spread most of the and then we can um you know start putting some sheep in of course before i do that there's a little trick i like to do with this to make sure that the sheep don't overeat and you know eat all the grass because then well it won't have the chance to grow back so let me go grab some blocks for that okay so unless something's changed since i used to do this which is a while ago um, if I put a grass block there... Wait a minute! Um, if I put a grass block there... Um, if I put a grass block there... Grass block, grass block, grass block... You stupid! Yeah, the grass underneath... Obviously the ship can't get to it because there's a block over it, but the grass stays grass underneath and can continue to grow. And of course, another extremely... Uh, uh, another extremely important part of the process is to put some ladders in each little hole so we can get in and out. Yeah, I'm just going to go do that and I think we're just about ready to have some sheep in these things now. Okay, the time has come. It's time to move some sheep into captivity. Hopefully this goes well. I can only imagine this going well. A few inches later... Okay, that worked well. Alright, get up here, fellas. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Come on. So their color at the moment doesn't really matter. I just want to get about two sheep in each hole. So, all right, go on, get in there. Welcome to your new home. Okay, we got a few more than two this time. Holy, we got a lot. I don't even know if I can get all these guys up here. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, look at me, look at me. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. Oh, they've lost interest, but that's all right. We've got a few. We've also got a baby for some reason, but that's okay. All right, come on. Come on. Jeez, I hate hurting animals in this game. It takes so long. Welcome to your new home. Oh, if I jump in, I'm sure they'll follow, yeah? Oh, perfect. Yeah, you get the picture. Obviously, I'm going to re-dye all these sheep when I get the chance, but yeah, that's it. I'm going to go just do the rest quickly, get two sheep in every hole, and I'll be back. Okay, the final two sheep. Very exciting. So here's how we're gonna do it. First two sheep out the gate, survive. The rest get brutally murdered. There's one. There we are, there's two. Let's go boys, or girls. You could be girls. The final 10. Oh, awesome. You can almost see every pen we have two sheep. Um, and you may see from here what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, once I get enough of each color wool, I'm gonna do an outline of that color so you know which pen is which color. First, now we have to go on a journey to get every color dye so we can dye our sheep. And yeah, let's let's do that. There's a few easy ones which we could already do like right now. That's red dye. That's yellow dye. 
That's orange dye. Okay, so from memory, these were gonna be our red sheep, these were gonna be our orange sheep, these were gonna be our yellow sheep. Yo, wait, I've just discovered that they finally made um, bone meal and white dye a separate item. I was, yeah, I just discovered that. That's pretty cool. So, okay, well, we've got our pink and magenta now, as well as a light gray. Okay, so hopefully lapis is still the blue dye. I hope. Oh, okay, so you craft lapis into blue dye now. Okay, interesting. I'm learning heaps right now. Uh, can we still make purple? Cool, we got two purple dye. Now we're gonna need light blue at some stage, so let's make that. <laughs> You can craft bone meal into white. I'm so stupid. Okay, so that gives us gray dye. Now right, let's go dye our sheep and figure out what we're missing. All right, boys, we're we're doing it. We're going on a journey for a bloody desert because we need green dye. I can't believe we have to go all do a bloody journey to the desert just to get green dye. All right, Francesca, let's do this. Wait, that's a desert. I see cactus. We did it. Get in here and stay in here. I'll be back for you, Francesca. This is important. So guys, we did it. We reached a quarter of a million subscribers. Desert bike. Let's take home of right, let's go explore that desert temple, see if we get lucky. What the hell? What just hit me? And oh my lord, my pickaxe tears through this stuff. Cool, should we say collect all this now? Okay, what have we got? Ooh, three diamonds, not bad. Gunpowder, I'll take that. Diamond! Another diamond, nice. Iron horse armor, I like that. We needed some armor for our, um, for Francesca, of course. All right, now let's go over to that village, and yeah, that's kind of it. Oh. Oh no. Ooh. That's not nice. Damn it, he's in the bed. I'm just gonna rub this guy real quick. Hey bud, thanks for the bed. Okay, we're going back. We got everything we need. All right, Dolphin, get me back to Francesca. Francesca, I have a present for you. Francesca, I'm sorry I left you overnight. There we go, Francesca. Look at you now. Got you a present. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Let's go back home. We did it, Francesca. We're home. Yes. Epic. Okay, so successful, successful journey. We got a bunch of cactus, but also four diamonds. Don't mind that. All right, so what colors were we missing? It was cyan, green, and light green. What might we need for that? I'm gonna try I need light, light green. A oh, lime. That's what it is. There it is. Okay, I think we're done. Let's go dye our sheep and have a look. This, these two are lime green, these two are dark green, and that leaves these two to be cyan. That's it, perfect. Now we have all our colored sheep in the pens. All that's left to do now is finish off making this area look pretty. So let's do that. I'm gonna spin around right now and this will be all colorful. All right, I don't know if this is where I was standing, but whatever, here we go. But uh, pretty much done now, the whole project. Four, four sheep in every hole, correctly colored them all. What I might do now is, there's one more thing I wanna do to pretty up the area a little bit. We firstly, we need a bit of storage. We might do a little shed with some storage somewhere to the side here. And then also I wanna replace the blocks in between here with something. So I think I might just do some planks, some wood planks. So I'm gonna go collect some wood and I'll be back and we'll finish off this bad boy. Okay, and there we go. I think I've just about placed birch. Yeah, and every little spot got a nice birch outline. A um, couple more things I want to do before I finish up with this area is, of course, I want to light it up. So I'm thinking maybe if I go get some glowstone and then in every intersection put some glowstone, it might light the area up well and also it might look quite nice. So let's head off to the nether. To see what happens in that journey to the nether, you're going to have to wait to watch the next episode. However, while I'm here, comment the word on screen right now to be featured in the next episode of Minecraft. Okay, so another quick update. Um, I've kind of planned out the shed I want to build for the side over here. So the plan is I'm going to build, I haven't calculated this right, but a bit of a area here, bunch of chests, and then there'll be a path out the back of um, the building, which will head around to the back door of the house, and it should all link up quite nicely. So I'm gonna build this shed quite similar to how I built my house. So I'm gonna go get a bunch of the same materials and come back and we'll build it together maybe. 
Okay, cool. So how I want to build this is a bunch of archways. We might not even have walls, to be honest. We build up, build up those three like that. Have a couple archways. We need to have a plan for where we're going to put our chest. 16 colors, so we need 16 chests. This and this. Okay, yeah, this is going to be quite simple. We're not going to have any walls. It's going to be a fully open, open space. I want quite tall arches, so I might... Four high on each of these. Yeah, that'll be quite good. Okay, now I've got some stairs and some slabs. We can make some archways. So, simple stuff. No need to overcomplicate this. Boy, if you don't get... The slabs across there. Okay, cool. That's looking all right. This one obviously needs to clean up. Yeah, okay. We got a bunch of archways going. Now we just need to add our, our roof. Okay, yeah. You see the vision. I'm going to just cut off for now. And yeah, that'll be done. So, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, boys, the final final update for this area. Bam. There we go. I built this little undercover area with all our chests in it. Looks pretty nice. Similar, well, basically the exact same theme as what our house was. Got all our chests, all labeled and stuff. Pretty awesome. And I've also started a little pathway down this way to our back door of our house. So it's all starting to, you know, come together. Looks quite nice. Um, So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode, I think. All right, boys. So that's it for today's episode of Minecraft. I think we did an awesome job on this wool farm. It looks awesome and the whole area is coming along quite nicely. So let me know what you thought of this episode because it definitely wasn't as heavily edited as other episodes. Do you like these episodes where I build a project and show you the steps or would you rather the content where I try to explore and do more exciting things? Either way, let me know and if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to subscribe to keep following the series and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.